Well, hi, meteorologist Matt Barentine. We are tracking uh, beta out there this evening with winds of 60 miles per hour. So this is a storm we've been keeping an eye on the last few days, and it's still out there. It's headed towards Texas, and we've been getting miserable stuff from it, right? Cool, dry air at the surface, and then what's happening is that that fall, that what should have been nice fall air, we had this warm, moist, tropical air riding up and over the top, and that's giving us this light, drizzly stuff that we just can't seem to shake. We had it all weekend long, been kind of miserable out there, and it's continuing on into the evening hours. And it'll continue on in tomorrow morning as well. Here we are going on the future cast. It shows early tomorrow morning, likely still having some light rain, some light drizzles. Once again, none of this is heavy. It's just sort of annoying and, and just sort of a nuisance. And it will be with us tomorrow morning. Models are trying to tell us, though, by the afternoon, things will begin to get a bit better. Not fully 100% going with that just yet because uh, they've let us down the last couple of days these models have so I hope though I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that we'll start seeing just gray skies instead of this light rain to go with it but I think we'll have that around the morning temperatures in the 60s like I said fingers crossed that we have less rain around in the afternoon temperatures should be a little warmer than they were today a lot of areas didn't get out of the 60s on our Sunday crazy weather for this time of September we are 20 degrees below normal so still on the cool side tomorrow and on Tuesday, of course, that is the actual official first day of fall. Then guess what? After that, we'll warm back up as we head towards the end of the week. And then we're likely to get another round of rain from beta as it works its way back around from Texas by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Good chances of rain all three of those days. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.